Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're in Orlando, Florida this afternoon at the 2018 PGA Merchandise Show. We're with Titleist. I'm with Jeremy Stone. Jeremy, how's it going? It's going really well. Excited this week. It's always a big week, but with SM7, it's really exciting. Busy week, yeah. And we are going to talk about SM7, brand new wedges. We were talking off camera, and I know you're super excited about this new product. Well, my excitement really comes from seeing Bob get excited. So when Volk's done a number of these, he's been making wedges for us for over 20 years. Um, when he gets excited, that's when you know it's time to get excited about a new wedge line. And the combination of kind of new progressive CG technologies, some new grinds, you know, it's easy to see why he's excited. Yeah, so walk us through a little bit about SM7 and sort of what players are going to see that's maybe changed a little bit from SM6. Sure. So when Bob starts to look at how he can improve on such a successful launch like SM6, he looks at three key wedge play factors. Can I improve versatility? Can I improve distance and trajectory control? And can I improve spin? And with SM7 wedges, he's continued to refine the grinds, which gives us versatility and the ability to be fit. He has made the progressive center of gravity even more precise, lower in the lower lofts higher in the higher lofts, giving better trajectory and distance control. And we're now cutting our grooves unique by the finish and 100% inspecting them to make sure that we're delivering maximum spin. Wow. And, you know, I had a chance to hit some earlier. Feel was fantastic. And what really stood out to me was hitting a lob wedge was how controlled and how consistent the trajectory was, which you just talked about. Well, and that's the beauty of it, right? So, so many golfers are chasing that really controlled 60 degree wedge, that flighted 60, kind of one hop and stop. And now historically, folks would give you a 60 degree wedge and it had a really low center of gravity with a ton of loft. It's really hard to hit that shot. Now, with even higher center of gravity in SM7 wedges in the lob wedges, we're empowering the player to go hit that shot and any other shot window they might want to create because when the CG's in the right place, you get that trajectory control and there's the byproduct of you actually get better feel. Yeah, exactly. The feel was tremendous. Now you talked about the finishes. Tell us specifically about the different finishes and what's unique about each one. Absolutely. So we have three finishes and this is really all about the ability of a golfer to love what they look at. So the traditional Torque Chrome, the one you're holding there, it's a bright chrome finish. We've cleaned up the design a little bit by putting all the specs out here on the toe. Tour players just love the look, nice and clean and elegant on the back. For a traditionalist who doesn't really like the glare that some folks see off the Torque Chrome, we have brushed steel. Brushed steel is a black nickel plating finish, but obviously a darker finish, a richer finish with a little bit of polish. So a little bit of polish gives the traditionalist what they're looking for, but in the playing position, no glare. And then the third finish is jet black. It's a raw finish that has a QPQ finish process to apply the black color. And we just decided, let's go all in here. Let's paint fill everything on this thing black. And we really love the look. And we've got tour players like Cam Smith, Jimmy Walker, who have always played jet black wedges coming to us. And they were asking for this. Now we're just bringing it to market. And it's going to be six grinds this year. There were five in the SM6 line. We're going to talk about more those more in detail in another video so there's a lot to talk about but one thing that's been amazing about these is we talked about this off camera is the tour adoption's just been unbelievable for you guys the tour adoption has just been off the charts and, and really you look at a couple of different things you look at the quantity of players um, but then you look at you know how does the wedge perform when it gets in the bag and with sm6 it was the biggest tour adoption Vokes ever seen and sm7 was only eight pieces behind it that first week. 66 total pieces went in play that first week of uh, at the Shriners Open. Within three weeks, SM7 Tour Adoption was outpacing SM6 when it was um, put on tour two years ago. Um, and we had the number one model in play in just three short weeks with SM7. Wow. And that includes Patton Kazire, who just won out at Sony. Um, that includes Jordan Spieth. The first competitive event he played since the introduction of SM7, he had four new wedges in the bag. So the adoption has been absolutely spectacular. We've already gotten a couple of wins, one on Europe, one on the PGA Tour, um, and it's already the number one model in play. So, you know, Bob looks at that and goes, all right, well, I think we've got something here. Yeah. Jeremy, great information. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, Chris. Thanks.